So you've done a lot of exercise and when you wake up the next day you have sore muscles and all you do is curse at the annoying lactic acid and think no pain, no gain, right? But you're wrong. Lactic acid is not what actually causes the pain and makes us unable to crawl out of bed. You might not believe it, but what really is behind this phenomenon is small micro tears within the muscle fibers which is normally followed by inflammation. Micro tears and inflammation? Huh? Well that's right, but be happy that you feel this pain because it means your muscles are getting repaired and they will be stronger, better and faster. We know what we're talking about because we ran from Slovakia to Austria just to tell you about this. The running definitely put too much stress on our muscles and led to so-called delay onset muscle soreness. Even though the exact mechanism for this well-known painful experience is not understood yet, scientists believe that eccentric exercise, which is the one when your muscles are actively contracted and yet lengthening at the same time, is the main cause. Muscles are made of many fascicles, which are made of a few bundles of muscle fibers. Every fiber is a very long cell with many nuclei. The fiber is made of myofibrils with sarcomeres being the basic units of a muscle, separated from each other by Z-lines connected by connective tissue proteins. These give muscles their elasticity and hold the muscle fibers together. When too much pressure is applied, it damages the cell membranes of the fibers, calcium stores gets damaged, and thus calcium escapes and causes the release of degrading enzymes, which digest the Z-lines and connective tissue proteins of the muscle fiber. And yet, we still don't feel sore. We might feel tired and exhausted as a result of inadequate oxygen supply to the muscles, but the real pain will kick in approximately 12 to 72 hours later. This delay occurs because inflammatory cells and processes that repair the muscle take some time to get activated. Neutrophils, immune cells, rise in numbers as soon as 45 minutes after exercise and can have higher levels up to 5 days post-exercising. They release cytokines which attract other inflammatory cells to come to the injured site and together they will try to help to fix the micro damage. Substances released during these processes, cytokines, chemokines, histamine, bradykinin, prostaglandin and many others can themselves sensitize the nerve endings causing pain sensation and their presence can also lead to increased vascular permeability and intramuscular pressure, causing swelling which stimulates the nociceptors even more. The good news is, your muscles will recover and with regular exercise adapt to prevent any further damage. You'll get to feel the horrible pain only if you change your workout routine and start doing something new which your muscles are not used to. And so while you're suffering from the muscle repair, you might choose to drink a bit of cherry juice, which people believe will soothe not only your muscles but also your spirit. You can also drink about 2 cups of coffee one hour prior to exercise, which was found to reduce muscle pain in women with low caffeine consumption. Or prior to exercise, drink some watermelon juice as it might increase muscle protein and thus enhance athletic performance. For those with more courage, there is another option. Plunge into cold water after exercise in order to reduce muscle soreness. No matter what you decide to do, always remember to exercise safely and never beyond your current fitness level.